up to test that oxygen sensor and you can see the connectors so normally where the two colors are which is white white are the heater circuit and you can see that's the red and black and i've connected the red and black to the battery terminal and the white and green is for the heater circuit control you can see that now that i've placed I have set it up. It is having, it is not really any resistance. But at the moment I start touching it with this to create, to allow it to warm up. If, if I touch it, I feel it is warming up. You can see that now there is ohm resistance going on. There is reading on it. And I can feel the heater circuit or the oxygen sensor is getting warmer. And you can see. It keeps reading downwards. So now let me disconnect it and you can see it is reading back upwards quickly because I've disconnected the heater circuit from it. So now I've disconnected the heater circuit and it is reading upwards again. The moment I plug it back in, the moment I plug it back in, you can see the resistance keep decreasing. So it tells me that my heater circuit is working or my oxygen sensor is working properly. So the moment it starts cooling down, it has warm up a bit. The moment it starts cooling down, then you can see that my resistance keeps increasing till it goes to open. So this is another short way to test your oxygen sensor. And this is oxygen sensor for after the convector, which is sensor two. So I'm testing it to verify and see the issue with it, if it is, if the oxygen sensor is faulty or it is still working. But with this test, I'm able to say it's working and the heater side is okay. So I'll go and change the oxygen sensor on the car. Then I'll fix this one onto it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And you can see it has gone to open. So the moment I put it on for some few seconds, you can see now it is ready and I disconnect it then it start reading upwards again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos.